Hello, everybody. My name is Matti Koivisto, and I come from XAMK, which is a short for Southeastern Finland University of Applied Sciences. And today I have an honor to tell you uh, for you about the two things that I really like, projects and education. Let's get started. The title of my presentation is Using Gamification and Simulation to Learn Project Business Skills. I'm honored to talk about these two things that I find personally very interesting, project and education. But let's get started. I have the following key concepts in my presentations. First, I want to make a difference between project and project business. And then we take a look at what is the difference between game-based learning and gamification of learning. Because these four concepts are essential to my presentation. Okay, we all know what projects are. And we also know that organizations use projects more and more. Uh, however, what I have always found a little bit irritating is that somehow people think that anyone can be a project manager. I don't think so. I believe that managing project is a profession that requires special skills, knowledge and competence. And that is one of the things that we are teaching here at our university. But today I'm not talking about the project management, but I will focus on project business. And project business goes beyond a single project. We can, of course, define project business many different ways. But the idea here is that we are having a large number of projects which are directly related to the, uh, the company's objectives, strategic object, objectives of an organization. And that is what uh, project business is all about. Two almost identical uh, concepts are game-based learning and gamification of learning. However, I find there an important difference. In game-based learning, the game is the key. That is the starting point. That is where we start the whole idea. In gamification, actually, we don't even have a game, but we have added game-like elements to learning. So the focus in this case is in the learning process, not on the game. After I have explained the main ideas here, what is a project business and what is gamification of learning, it's time to take a look at our case. First, I want to give you a little bit background knowledge. Uh, like I said, I work here uh, at XAMK University of Applied Sciences, and uh, we wanted to first, before we started this degree program, we wanted to ask from local companies, what are the areas that engineers should learn more? And we get very clear answer. A large number of companies said that they want the employees to have better project management uh, skills and also a little bit surprisingly sales skills because we are talking about the engineers. But the idea here is that today in many organizations everyone sales and for that reason it's important that our engineers are also capable to answer that call. So Maybe we were not very creative when we named our master program project and sales management. But I think it's clear uh, identification where we are targeting here. What is important to understand that all our stu students uh, are adult learners, which means that they must have at least two years of working experience after gaining their bachelor's degree in engineering. Some of them have 20 years, so we have also very experienced professionals in our degree program. Another important thing to recognize is that our students are part-time students and they are working full-time during their studies. 
Uh, when we analyzed the knowledge uh, and skills of our uh, students, we recognized that they already had quite good knowledge on project management. However, most of them lacked project business and portfolio management skills. And when we went a little bit further, we also recognized that this skill gap could be found also from many uh, firms where our students were working. So even though the companies had very clear guidelines, project books for project management, they did not have maybe any methods or very limited methods and tools to manage a project portfolio. To answer this call, we created a learning workshop uh, for skills needed in project business. And we based our uh, workshop to three key components. The first, what we want to learn or learning object objectives. The idea here is that we really wanted to concentrate the skills needed in project business. The method we selected here it was gamification, and we um, can say that there are some elements of simulation as well. And the tool that we decided to use uh, was a project portfolio management software. This tool supported us uh, during this workshop. When it comes to uh, learning objectives, uh, we wanted to use some framework so that we are really concentrating on essential issues. And for that reason, we concentrated uh, on those elements which were identified by Finnish uh, researchers about success factors in project business. And in this slide, you have uh, can see the four elements that they identified, and we concentrated to two of them, management system for organization and balanced strategy aligned portfolio. Of course, we could ask that why to why use gamification? Because we are talking about adult learners. Are they really ready to uh, take part in some kind of game? Uh, actually, mm, the whole idea behind the use of gamification is that it improves students' motivation, engagement, and also we get better learning outcomes with it. Of course, there are some critical views also related uh, to use gamification. Some people say that it might shift the focus to wrong areas, but most of the empirical studies uh, have clearly indicated positive outcomes, especially in higher education. So that was our decision to use gamification. The tool that we used here, uh, uh, was a, a project portfolio management tool. And we joined here Thinking Portfolios Master Talent Program. This program is uh, uh, Thinking Portfolios Social Responsibility Program aimed at Finnish higher education institution. And what we were able to get there was a cloud-based uh, portfolio management tool that suited well to our needs. And the main reason for this was that it took just three weeks from signing to control to start to use it in our education. And secondly, it was very easy to learn and use. And I don't mean only students, but also for me as a teacher, it was really uh, easy to adapt it to my uh, teaching. Now I will tell you a little bit more about our learning workshop what it looked like, what we did, or mainly what students did, because as a teacher, I think that the best moments in teaching is when I'm totally useless, when everything happens without uh, my role there. So the workshop design uh, is as follows. First of all, we organized our first learning workshop uh, for our postgraduate engineering students uh, in 2020 and we have run it second time uh, last year. And the idea here 
is that in this exercise, uh, they worked in a team of four or five students. So we have a group of students working together and their task uh, was to uh, manage a project portfolio of a, a fictional company. And during the exercise, they carried out typical portfolio management tasks like allocating resources, scheduling tasks, creating reports, and prioritizing projects. And because we wanted this to be game-like environment, uh, the teams carried out similar tasks, and therefore their results could be compared against each other. And this is essential. Uh, as an educator, I have seen that when there is some kind of element of competition, students really start to work harder. And that really took place also in our exercise. Because it comes like that, that of course, we don't want to lose them. We want to do better than they do. The steps of the workshop um, were as follows. So that first, uh, as an inst uh, instructor, I revealed the theme and the narrative of the of the project. And the idea was that each member of the team had their own project where they were project manager. However, the focus was not managing a single project, but in the project business, how to handle this portfolio of projects. But first, the participants added their own project to the project portfolio and allocated resources to their uh, projects. And at this stage, they created this kind of dream schedule for their project. They wanted to finish their project as fast as possible. However, on in step three, students shifted their perspective from this from their own project to the combination of project or project portfolio. And now the focus was what kind of decisions they should make so that they uh, team would succeed well in this uh, simulated um, exercise. There were a couple of things that that uh, added pressure to students. Uh, first of all, we did they didn't have enough resources, so they had to prioritize projects. They have to reschedule the tasks and and do all kind of uh, things that are typical in project business. And it's interesting how students started to love their own projects, even though they were artificial projects, but because they were project manager, there were a lot of heated discussions, which project should be delayed, which should be uh, uh, put first on the line and so on. Uh, and when they carried out this step, there were multiple subtasks and it required a lot of negotiation, decision making. And the idea was here that we didn't say how the students should make their decisions, but they decided they team rules themselves and working um, uh, methods as well. And um, we wanted this or we, we added a little bit pressure on them so that we limited the time they could use here. Uh, and after this workshop, there was this uh, reporting phase where which they did as uh, after the workshop at home. Uh, we followed here in the design of this exercise uh, Marchevsky's uh, general game element principles, and um, I will not cover all of them here, but the idea was that, that every member is, or every student is a member of the management team and they must run the project business of the company very well. We provided them uh, with uh, different kind of instructions and learning videos and unknown events took place there. We had limited time and feel of hurry and we, wanted there to be a good balance between skills and challenges. Here is a couple of screenshots what uh, the project portfolio looked uh, to students. First of all, each organization or each team was uh, responsible for one country. For example, here uh, they are responsible for Italy. And 
each project was uh, managed by one student. So one uh, student had one project where he or she was a project manager. And when they did, for example, resource allocation, the challenges was that when they created this dream schedule for their own projects, what happened was that that they had limited resources and therefore there were too much work for some of the employees of the company. And that was one of the reasons why they had to reschedule the tasks, they had to postpone some projects, they have to spend more time for planning phase for the project and so on. And of course, the idea was that uh, we they reached the uh, situation where no extra hours was needed to work. Of course, some teams were able to do that and some people or some groups did not reach that, but that's part of the game. Finally, I will provide you some findings of our workshop and the feedback. First of all, uh, how we analyzed the student feedback. After this six hour workshop, student gave written feedback about the learning session and we were uh, able to get 358 feedback sentences. And uh, we analyzed these uh, uh, sentences with two different ways. We used content analysis and sentiment analysis. And uh, because we know that that in these kind of tasks, the researcher is really easily making mistakes and error, and, and this kind of analysis is prone to researcher bias. We used machine learning to verify both the feasibility of the theory framework and correctness of the sentence classification. I will save you from the details of, of our analysis, but for those of you who have more academic interest, you can find uh, more information about our workshop from these two publications. The, uh, the second one is not yet published, but it will be published pretty soon. So uh, instead of going to the details, let's take a look at the, how students uh, or what kind of feedback the students gave to us. Uh, in this table, we see how many positive and negative feedback statements we got for different uh, areas of a project business management. So the management system got very strong positive uh, feedback and so did the portfolio management. However, uh, financial management and customer and supplier management areas received um, far less uh, positive uh, feedback and especially in customer and supplier management, we even get more negative than positive. And that was something that we could expect because like I said earlier, we focused on these two uh, areas, I mean management system and portfolio management. And this way, I think we did a decent job here. So if I summarize the findings of the study is that the positive sentiment of students' feedback clearly pointed out that they liked this uh, exercise and they really find it useful. Also, when I discussed with this student group later, that the feedback was, was very positive. And like I said, uh, there were our focus areas, the, how to create and operate the management system of a company and how to manage project portfolio including resource allocation, scheduling, and prioritization were really well covered here. Uh, I want to sum up uh, my presentation to, because I want to be sure that, that we all understand what this uh, our workshop was. It was not about game-based learning, and it was not about the a management of a single project. Instead, it was concentrating about learning skills required to manage large portfolio of projects. And we used game elements in our exercise and we simulated a real life situation where 
a, a company must manage a large number of projects. And the positive sentiment of students feedback clearly points out that their attitude towards the workshop was positive and they found the exercise useful. But what next? What are we uh, aiming to do next? Of course, we keep developing our uh, exercise further. And uh, I'm happy to say that we are also doing a cooperation between the fin uh, universities. So uh, we will organize a similar workshop at University of Only, uh, Oulu this uh, spring. However, I don't think that this kind of learning method is only suitable for uh, universities. I find it would be extremely interesting to test the workshop also in a corporate environment. For example, when a company evaluates the suitability of the project portfolio uh, tool to their needs, or when they already have got the, a tool, they could use this a method to educate their own employees. So uh, now I really hope that you will have a great uh, seminar here. And if you have any questions or comments, please contact me. Here is my email address and I hope you will have a great day. See you.